everyone so today I'm kicking off my interview video series a lot of you and I mean a lot of you are giving your cabin crew interviews in the season and you have some questions I'm not going to be answering them in this video but I will be answering them in an upcoming video in today's video I'll be sharing with you all what uh, grooming standards need to be followed and should be followed or like basically how to dress up for an interview for boys and for girls I'm going to include uh, hair uh, like hairstyles and hair length for boys as well as makeup for girls of course the attire and everything uh, now the things that I'm going to share with you are uh, of course going to be based off of uh, cabin crew interview requirements and what I have learned and done for my cabin crew interviews because I am a cabin crew hi if you did not know but of course the things that I'm about to share you share with you uh, are applicable for any interview in the world because you need to be dressed formally for almost every interview in the world I guess so if you're interested keep watching so first off, let's get the outfit out of the picture. Um, definitely dress, be dressed formally. First of all, let's talk about the attire. Now, if this is your first job interview, don't really worry too much about, yeah, I need to wear this kind of a necklace. It should have some animal print in it. You don't need to be too extra stylish. Be basic. You need to focus on yourself, how you present yourself in the interview more than what you're wearing. But of course, you know, uh, what you wear, that gives off the first impression to the interviewer and that kind of could actually add a point to your resume and be like yeah this person looks like he or she is uh, very dedicated to this job and might be responsible enough so you definitely need to focus on what you're wearing uh, now okay for girls I would just like to say that see through uh, reds bold colors like that uh, dangly earrings uh, having freaking swings on your head those things are not acceptable at all be basic be formal be subtle formal does not mean you need to go ahead and you know I mean formal does not mean you need to channel a sexy secretary uh, formal means being subtle basic and plain because you're you have to wear something but you need to be presentable looking and you need to uh, be hassle free and you need to look like you can be considered responsible that's why formal wear is so basic right so go basic with it uh, about formals I would really suggest do not wear uh, so see-through stuff already out of the question do not wear anything see-through you are wearing a st skirt stockings have to go with them uh, now it's up to you if you want to wear skin color or black stockings I would really recommend uh, wear the stockings that go with your skirt black preferably because skin color stockings like it's not even like if you're wearing anything right uh, heels definitely no flats for interviews uh, and the heels can be well they can make pencil heels or whatever but make sure they're not very crisscrossed heels or something heels should not be peep toe heels they should be closed from the uh, front and then uh yeah just basically don't look very promiscuous the buttons should be of uh, you know acceptable uh, length no deep necks nothing about your hair uh so i've done this cabin crew braided bun tutorial which you can actually do for your uh interviews i'll also be doing a video of how to make a donut bun which is a very easy bun and you can do it in your daily life as well so i'll show you how to make that because that's easy you can wear that hairstyle make sure you, you there are no flyaways and stuff do not keep your hair open this is not a you know party or something keep your hair in a bun or a really tight nice ponytail when no hair is coming out uh slick it back with some hair oil and just look very presentable so that's about the attire for girls for guys oh by the way for girls are uh, the shirts as I said nothing see-through nothing too patterned have like simple stripes or just a basic colored shirt try subtle colors for boys uh, definitely sh uh, just you know an entire suit if you don't want to wear blazer that's okay it's just your first job interview so if a formal shirt and jeans are there that's okay make sure that of course your shoes need to be formal shoes but make sure that the socks the color of the socks is the same as the color of your pants so it's not like you're wearing gray pants and then you're wearing yellow colored socks inside if your pant is black gray or whatever color your um, socks need to be of the same color your shoes will 
most probably be black it's safe to go with the black right so make sure that the socks color is same why that is because when you uh, sit cross-legged you know your socks shows and that needs to be of the same color because it looks nice okay so that's that if you're wearing a tie make sure it's a subtle thing no prints no crazy things on it just a simple tie which maybe has stripes or something but have a subtle color uh, don't go ahead and explore your uh, stylish side on your uh, interview day keep everything very basic like if it's a dark colored uh, shirt maybe a darker colored tie something i mean it depends on you it just needs to look subtle it shouldn't look like hi i'm gonna go to the marriage after this you know so keep it like that you could wear a blazer totally is up to you but just be basic okay now let's talk about uh, hair for girls i've told you about the buns for guys you you can't have long tresses and unkept hair right uh, so definitely have a nice haircut uh, the thing which we were taught when i trained they said that the length of your hair from the back needs to be two fingers above your collar okay so let me just turn if the collar hits here your hair length should be two fingers above it so your hair should not be touching your collar and uh, that's about that from the front of course it shouldn't be too long and all it should be kept properly now that you know more than me uh what else shave definitely shave no stubble stubble is a big no no and no big shave i mean even if it took a really long time to grow that out you need to shave it off um see about crap see i got this uh, comment that cab in cabin crew interviews they only look for models they should put that in the requirement section that model like people will be accepted it's not like that the thing is that you should at least have a clear skin and a thing like healthy looking face because concept behind it is guys if you're in a restaurant and your waiter has tons of pimples on his or her face or if the nail polish is chipped and their hands are dirty looking you'll feel like oh the food might be unhygienic right we don't pay attention to it but, but then when you're in an aircraft that comes to your mind people might think like that and it's not just indians it's people of different ethnicities ethnicities so people are finicky about different things that's why they say that you need to be looking clean and all those things so if you're a guy if you have too many dark circles consult your sister or someone who knows makeup well maybe you could put a concealer over here if you're going for a cabin crew interview that is for any other interview however you're going that's fine just make sure to have a clean skin that's all uh, so that was about hair attire skin uh, talking about your face for girls the makeup needs to be very very subtle can you guys see what i've done today so um uh, i've just done a very subtle winged eyeliner my eyeshadow i have used two eyeshadow it's a really nude bright eyeshadow here and a dark brown here that's about it you can't even see from a distance that there are two eyeshadows okay my blush is a very baby pink color and about the lipstick i've just applied it on the inner corners sorry i only applied the lipstick on the inner part this used to be my interview lipstick it is called rosy dawn by i guess this is blue heaven okay this is what the lipstick looks like this is the color which i've used in my training and every single day and for my every interview this is my pearl pink color as you can see it's very subtle it's barely there on my lips but it gives it nice pinkish glow and it looks really nice so this kind of lipstick is acceptable similar blush in fact you can just use the same lipstick as a blush you know and an eye shadow as well uh, no dark blues blues smoky eyes silvers nothing if you want you could maybe put a really baby pink colored eye shadow on your eyes i have heard of people even going to the beauty parlor and getting ready before an interview you don't need to do all that just find a simple powder foundation like this l'oreal matte my cheek my cheek magic i use this today uh, in your color or maybe a liquid foundation that's like lightweight apply a little bit of it because some looks good right that's about it you don't need to go crazy about it and if you're going in a regular interview you don't need to pay attention at all for of course for a cabin crew grooming is important and makeup and all is important but they're not that much because you're a new trainee they don't expect that much from you right because they'll teach you that in the training but then if you're going for a regular interview just put some powder so that it doesn't look disgusting and oily just one eyeshadow like a nude color or a pink color or even this lipstick just apply it lightly here and eyeliner i made a cat eye because i like it you could just put simple eyeliner here mascara blush lipstick you're done you don't need to do a lot you don't need to look like a model go to the parlor please don't do that what if you don't get the job your money will go wasted right so that's about the makeup uh shoes i've done bags okay guys you guys know that basic laptop bag looks good don't carry that uh with two bag which you have what's it the backpack don't carry that that doesn't like really look good unless you're not going to carry that in the interview room itself so you can keep it outside that's fine but then 
have a nice smart bag if you want but don't spend your fortune on it okay about the girls don't have those big pink bags with big bows on them have a subtle bag like a black or brown or white one that's really subtle nothing too blingy on it you know have a basic bag so that it's subtle it's like you're here for a job interview not like a bag show okay okay so let's talk about accessories you don't need to wear necklaces like this uh just wear pearl earrings that's okay if you do want a necklace because you feel like a neck looks empty pearl necklace like this it came for 20 rupees local uh, weekly market it's totally fine looks really presentable and nice as far as guys are concerned of course you can't wear earrings and necklaces if you do have piercings guys and girls both take them out these piercings are good for any job interview it just gives off a nice uh, impression rings i would really recommend you keep them to a minimum maybe a religious ring if you wear some no threads no visible these things if you're married make sure to hide your mangal sutra and all uh, so yeah keep everything basic and simple watches you can really wear those so this is the watch that i wear every day for flying basic this is a local watch no brand nothing uh as you can see it's a very small dial silver because gold is not allowed in my airline and it's very thin not a big dial now the thing which in which is in our airline is that you need to have a seconds hand in the watch so that if there's an emergency you can match your watches that's because of that but then this is it so no big dials no sports watches nothing that's not appreciated no colored straps uh, no blingy watches they don't look good they might look good overall but they're not very professional for guys no big watches have that general standard watch that you have which is like the silver watch that watch is perfect for you guys uh, and yeah i think so i've talked a lot i need to have a break and have some water i hope these tips were helpful for you all if you have any questions regarding the attire Put them in the comments below. Otherwise, wait for my other videos. Maybe your questions will be answered then. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.